In this video, I want to show you a hidden gem in the GGI GO 4 app that I bet you do not know. You've probably seen the setting video caption many times when playing around with the camera settings. You probably tried to turn it on and off, making the conclusion that this function did not work, but it actually does. It records your camera data behind the scenes, so you know exactly what camera settings you were using in each frame. Let me show you how this works, but before we get to that, let's roll that intro. Nice to see you here on the channel. If you want to improve your drone camera skills, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. When you enable the video caption option, a separate file is being generated on your SD card with the same file name as the video file, but with the extension SRT. The SRT file is the one that keeps all the information about your camera settings. So what is SRT? A SRT file is a subtitle file that is saved in the subrip format. It's supported by several video formats like DivX and DVD and various video playback programs. The SRT file contains a sequential number of uh, subtitles, including uh, timestamps for start and stop and the actual subtitle text, which in our case will be the camera data. If you play back the recorded file uh, on uh, at least my Mac, it will not show the subtitles. It seems QuickTime is not supporting the SRT format. So how do we make it playback? As we know now, the SRT file format is a standard subtitle format, so a player like VLC should be able to do the job. Download and install VLC on your computer. It works both for Mac and PC. It's free and you can find a link for VLC in the description below. Make sure that both the SRT and the video file is in the same folder. With that done, you should be able to see the camera settings directly as subtitles to the video. If it does not work directly out of the box, you might need to enable subtitles in the VLC program. Let's dig into the data and see what we can get out of it. The footage in this video has been recorded with the Mavic 2 Zoom. Wait, you don't own a Mavic 2 Zoom? <laughs> That's correct. I don't even own a Mavic 2 Pro at the time where this video was recorded. But luckily, I know somebody that does have a Mavic 2 Zoom. And that's Sean Oz, my YouTube buddy that stepped in and helped me uh, with footage for this video. I highly encourage you to go and uh, check out his channel through the link in the description below for more information about the Mavic 2 Zoom and some always breathtaking uh, visuals uh, from the nice mountains in Colorado. Back to the camera setting data. Apart from timestamps, frame count, you can see ISO shutter and color profile and exposure value, as well as focal length that is uh, specifically and useful with the zoom as this can vary. This tip does not only apply to the Mavic 2 Zoom or the Mavic 2 Pro, it applies to any DJI drone. But the information included in the subtitles may vary. Is this useful information? For some it's not, but for me I find it helpful to have that information available if a shot that I am working on did not turn up as expected. It will help me to find out what went wrong. In all cases, I've decided to have this setting enabled because if you look at the file size, this is significantly less than the actual uh, video file, so that shouldn't be a concern. Hope you found this uh, tip useful. Then make sure to like the video. Uh, that will make it easier for others to, uh, to find it as well. At the same time, make sure to share it in your local drone community as this will help me and you grow the community. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.